How's it going? Chef Jeremy here from Salty's. And what we're doing for you today is I have my pastry chef, James Gibson. James, are you around here somewhere, James? Mm -hmm. James? James! Yep. Hey! Yo. Hey! Oh, right. There we go. All right, James there is here. Are. And we're talking about chocolate. And we're going to show you how to melt chocolate and temper chocolate. Amazing stuff. James, all right. what, what's the technique here? Well, first thing you want to do is you don't want to melt all your chocolate at once because then you can't actually temper it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our chocolate here, we're going to take a chunk out. So if we can't find chunks like that at the store, what do we do? We buy the little pistols? You, will, uh, you buy the pistol. You want real coverture chocolate. And what's really great is a lot of grocery stores are starting to carry it now, so you can just ask your grocer for the real deal chocolate and they'll be able to show you. Coverture. 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 So, I always suggest when you're melting chocolate at home, use a water bath here. Water bath method, okay. It's a pot of water and with a bowl. Make sure your bowl matches your pan really good. You don't want it too big because then your flame is going to burn your edges. And you want to use metal because it holds that temperature, yeah. which is perfect. So you get it up to a medium high heat mm -hmm. and you start melting the chocolate. Now you have to move the chocolate around, right? Yes. Okay, so you start melting the chocolate and you move it around. And the point is we're trying to get it up to 122 degrees. Now your body temperature is roughly 98. So you want it warmer than yourself. Five to ten minutes, high heat. Go ahead, James. All right, we've got our chocolate melted here. It's hot. We want to take it off the heat. So we're going to bring it off the heat here. And you can actually just put it right here next to yourself on the stove. So the heat from there isn't going to bother it that much. And remember that chunk we took out earlier? We're going to need to add it back in. So what this does is it regulates the temperature. Like maybe a one cup batch of the pistols melted chocolate. Take a quarter cup of it out and just let it sit to the side. Melt the chocolate. Then when it gets up to that temperature where it's hot, then you throw it back in there. But see how silky smooth it is? The thing that you need to know about chocolate is chocolate loves fat, but chocolate hates water, okay? So that's a really big thing that you need to know because you could add an eighth of a cup of water to that thing and it would just go Bleh. Right, James? It'll completely seize up on you. Yeah. And not in the good way. It'd get a little chunky and weird like cottage cheese. Yeah, it looked like cottage cheese. So once you have it here, you are at that stage to start making your chocolate molds. Mm -hmm. 